All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to take what we've learned about circuits at a conceptual level, at a basic level, and we're going to learn how to actually solve problems with circuits uh, mathematically and actually calculate voltage and resistance and current using a few equations. The first equation we're going to use uh, is something that is called Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law. Okay. And the second set of equations that we're going to use later on uh, are the power equations for when we want to calculate power. Okay? So we're first going to focus on this concept of Ohm's law. And we should remember that Ohm's, which we abbreviate with this letter, the Greek letter of the alphabet, omega, these are the units for resistance. Okay. So Ohm's law is about using what we know about resistance uh, to calculate resistance or current or voltage. Ohm's law is this equation right here. V equals I R. This is Ohm's law. Ohm's law tells us that the voltage in a circuit is equal to the current in that circuit times the resistance. Okay. Again, where we know that resistance, the units are ohms, omega, current, A for amperes, and V for volts for voltage. So before we start actually solving problems, let's just look at this equation itself. This tells us that the voltage in a circuit is equal to the current times the resistance. So that means if we increase the current, if we increase I, in order for voltage over here to be the same, that means the resistance must drop since they're being multiplied by each other. On the other hand, this tells us if the current drops, if we lower the current in the circuit, the resistance must increase in order to keep voltage the same. That's the basic idea of Ohm's law. Let's try to apply it actually to some problems though. So, Here's a very simple problem that you would see that you need to be able to solve pretty straight, uh, pretty confidently um, using Ohm's law. So, when the circuit below is closed, there is a current of 2 amps. So I'm first going to just annotate this problem. 2A, I know that's for amps. I'm going to label that with a capital I because that's what uh, the letter is for current. And I want you to do make a note of this on your handout too. What must the resistance be, okay, we're trying to figure out R, of the light bulb in the circuit B. So we have the circuit down here. Just a quick refresher. This is our battery. Our voltage is equal to 12 volts. We have our resistor right here. We don't know what the resistance is. We have our wires going around, and here is our switch. Okay, so when this gets closed, what is the resistance? So we just start with our equation. Voltage equals I times R. I know I need to use this equation because it's asking for a resistance. And the only other information I'm given is the voltage and the current. So I just need to substitute the numbers in that I'm given. I have the voltage of 12. So I'm going to substitute 12 volts in for V. I know the current is 2 amps. So I'm going to substitute that in for I. And I don't know what R is. So all I need to do now is solve for R to get R by itself. Since 2 is being multiplied by R. Divide both sides by 2. So I get 12 divided by 2, which is 6, is equal to the resistance. So my final answer must be 6. And let's think about our units. For resistance, are ohms. So the resistance in this circuit, in this resistor, must be 6 ohms. Okay, example number 2. The circuit below consists of a 6-volt battery. So I'm going to label this. This is my voltage and a light bulb with a resistance of 40 ohms. Okay, I'm going to label that with R. What is the current flowing through the circuit when the switch is closed? Okay, so I'm going to just label my diagram here really quick. My resistor over here has a resistance of 40 ohms. Here is my battery. The voltage is equal to 6 volts, and this is just my switch. I want to know what is the current. Current is I. What is I equal to? So I'm, I have voltage, resistance, and current, so I'm going to need to use Ohm's law. V equals I times R. Let's go ahead and substitute the values in that I have. I know that the resistance is 40 amps, excuse me, 40 ohms. So I'm going to substitute that in for R. 
It's asking for the current. I do not know the current, so I'm going to leave that as I. And I know that the voltage here is 6 volts, so I'm going to substitute that in for V. So in order to solve for the current, which is I, since I is being multiplied by 40, I have to do the opposite of multiplication, divide by 40 on both sides. So I'm going to get a final answer that the current is equal to 6 divided by 40. Again, remember, you can use calculators all the time. So 6 divided by 40 gives me a current of 0 0.15. Let's think about our units. We know the units for current are amps with a capital A. Okay. So pretty simple. We know our circuit diagrams. We know resistance, voltage, and current. We're just using an equation, substituting the information we have, and solving for the unknown. What about the power equations? The power equations. Okay. How do we calculate power? Well, just as a quick refresher, remember, power is the rate or the speed that energy is used. And the units for power are watts, which we often abbreviate with just a capital W. So what are the equations for power if we know like voltage and resistance and current? There's three equations that we need to know, okay? But they all come from one simple equation, which is this. The power being used in a circuit is equal to the voltage times the current. Now this looks very similar to Ohm's law, which was V equals IR, but it's not. This is power is equal to voltage times current. So this is Ohm's law, and this is our power equation. Okay? But let's use Ohm's law, because we can this equation right here only allows us to figure out the power if we know the voltage and the current. What if we know the resistance? Then what do we do? Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this voltage here from Ohm's law, and I'm going to substitute that in for V right here. And I'm going to rewrite this equation down below. Now I have power equals, I'm going to substitute I times R in for V, I times R times I. And if I rewrite that, I have I times R times I, so that's I squared times R. So this is another form of the power equation. P equals I squared R, okay? And what's great about this equation is it allows us to calculate power if we only know current and resistance. Here is if we only know voltage and current. What if we only know voltage and resistance? Well, you can do the same thing. You can substitute this equation in for the power equation, and you'll get a third version, which is power is equal to voltage squared over resistance. All of these equations can be derived, but if you know this one right here up at the top in red, then you're good to go. You can solve anything else if you know Ohm's law. But if you know these three separately, any problem that you are given, you will be able to solve no problem. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's try to solve a few problems. Here's an example. Example three. In a circuit with a current of 3 amperes, okay, so current 3 amperes, that's I, how much power, oh, I'm asking for power now, is dissipated, this is just a fancy word for uh, released, if something gets dissipated, but be on the lookout for that in problems, as heat from a 6 ohm resistor. So here's my resistance, okay? So I'm trying to figure out power. They give me current, and they give me resistance, okay? Before I solve anything, it's always helpful to draw an actual circuit diagram so we can see what's going on visually, okay? So we have a circuit, um, so we have some battery. We have a resistor in there somewhere, okay? So I'll just draw this really quick. And we don't know the voltage, but that doesn't really matter. We know that the resistance here is uh, 6 ohms, and we know that the current is equal to 3 amps. We're trying to figure out what is the power released as heat. So let's think about my givens. I'm given the current and the resistance. So if I look at my three power equations, I need to find the one that has current and resistance. That is this one right here. Power is equal to the current squared times resistance. So let me just use that equation, write it down really quick. Power is equal to the current squared times resistance. Now all I have to do is substitute in the values that are given to me. I know the current is 3 amps over here. 
So 3 squared. The resistance is 6 ohms. So I'm going to plug that in times 6. So now I just do the math. 3 squared is 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is a final answer of 54. And since I'm solving for power, I need to think about my units. My units for power are watts with a capital W. Boom! I figured out the amount of power used. Great. Let's try one more for some last minute practice. Example four. A circuit contains a five volt battery, okay, I'm given voltage, with a single three ohm resistor. Here's my resistance. When the circuit is closed, how much power will flow through the resistor? So here's my switch, here's my battery, which is, oops, sorry, this battery is going to be, we'll erase that real quick, is going to be 5 volts. I know my resistance is going to be 3 ohms. So I have resistance and voltage. So let me go back to my equations. Which equation has resistance and voltage? It's this one right here. Power equals voltage squared over resistance. So let's write that down. Power equals voltage squared over resistance. Okay, let's go ahead and substitute the values that I'm given. Okay, Power is equal to voltage squared. The voltage was 5 volts, so 5 squared, over the resistance of 3 ohms. This tells me that the final answer is 25 divided by 3, which is about 8.3. And again, I'm figuring out the power, so 8.3 watts. Great. So at the end of this video, you should now feel comfortable using any of the three power equations, one, two, three, in order to calculate power in a circuit, as well as using Ohm's law, V equals IR, right here, to figure out the voltage, current, or resistance in a simple circuit. When we learn about parallel and series circuits, things will get a little trickier, but the same rules essentially apply. The same equations we will still use.